What's up guys, Rick Denham here at Holy Moly Outdoors. Thank you so much for joining us today because I have something really neat to share with you. I got the chance to do a bucket list trip this last week and I want to share you my experience. Share my story of the pursuit of this fish of 10,000 casts. We're talking about the tiger muskie here today and we're fishing in Washington State. Now, there are a few different lakes on our west side of Washington State that do have tiger muskie and I've tried a couple of them and they are elusive as the name really is and I've had no success. Those couple trips didn't even see one, didn't even have a bite um, so I was unsure if I was even doing the right things but what was neat about this is I made sure I did my research. I got in touch with the right people who are successful quite often and found out kinda the the gist of what to do. You know this time of the year in May, some of these lakes fish a little bit better than they do early in the spring. When the water finally warms up a little bit, they get active. Now, we're talking about tiger muskie here in Washington, so they behave a little bit different than their Midwest cousins. The Midwest fish love big baits. Our Washington fish generally don't respond so well to that. So that was a different adjustment I had to make this time around. But I was able to talk to a couple buddies like Michael Floyd and Mitch I really can't thank you guys enough for your help in this because it's because of your pointers and tips that I was able to make this happen. So we made a trip down to Mayfield Lake down in Cowlitz County and pursued this fish of 10,000 casts. And what is so neat about it is within launching the boat 50 yards down lake, I saw my first muskie ever. Clear as day right there in about four feet of water staring right at us in the boat. I was just about shaking. I was so excited. It was a humongous fish, but did not respond and ultimately got spooked from the boat. So we were excited. We saw our first fish. Well, another 50 yards down the bank we go, there's two more. And we're going, this is just amazing. I can't believe it. So we keep going and we keep casting. I had my custom hand tied uh, bucktail spinner on and I had another one on my buddies and we're just fan casting and going down the bank. There's a bunch of stumps in that lake so we were noticing that the fish were correlating up to that wood. Wherever there was some kind of wood structure, whether it was a stick, a log, a stump, those fish were generally near there. And wouldn't you know, we keep walking, working our way down the bank and bam, see another fish. Bam, we see another fish. They're getting spooked but we're seeing them find out then they're transitioning right off a ledge. So right where that starts to drop off from about 7 to probably 12 feet of water, they were hovering right around that. So we start making a pattern and I don't know, maybe 200 yards down from the boat launch. I cast that sucker out there, make about three cranks on the reel and bam, I get slammed. So you guys are going to see the footage here of me reeling in my first muskie ever and you can see the excitement that I have. This fish was just as perfect as could be. I couldn't be more thrilled about this. So I want to share my experience here. Have a little fun here watching some musky fishing here in Washington State of my first. So thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for the action. Yep. Feels big. Oh, it's a muskie. Woo! Uh, you good back there. It'll get too tippy up this way. <gasps> yeah. Oh, big boy. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you go ahead and put the net down 
and turn the hoop over. There you go. Yes! Yeah! Oh my! I'm shaking! Thank you! Alright. Alright, so we'll counterbalance the boat if you go on the other side. Uh, the hook's already out. What we can do now is get a quick picture. Oh my freaking lord. That is so cool. Oh yeah, first muskie ever. I bet what's he, 10, 15 pounds? <laughs> Easy. How badass is that? See you later, buddy. Thanks. Yes! All right, how about this? Can you hand me my phone real quick? Oh yeah, first muskie ever. Easy. How badass is that? See you later, buddy. Yes! Yes! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Mayfield Lake down in Cowlitz County as we just wrapped up a day of tiger musky fishing and I caught my first one ever, an absolute beast. So much fun. We saw a ton of fish down here. We saw a lot of follows. They really weren't committing to a lot of stuff, but what they did bite on was a custom bucktail that I tied thanks to a couple tips from Mike Floyd. So thanks, Mike. Really appreciate all your guys' input out there on the tiger musky pages but uh i got my first and uh it was so much fun i cannot wait to come back here and do it again i'll run through a little bit more on the gear selection of what we were running and uh, more at the house it's a long day i'm hot but we uh we definitely got it done so again bucktails today were the name of the game through some glide baits as well didn't really uh, produce it too much, had one strike, but uh, the, the spinners were definitely the hot ticket. So we'll catch you soon. Take care and fish on. What's up guys, we're back here at the house. Got the boat all put together. So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of exactly what we're using on our musky trip adventure. And uh, really again, just had such a fun time doing that. My first experience, saw a ton. Caught my first, um, just so many good things to say about it, and I can't wait to do it again. I can see why you guys out there that are musky fishermen get so addicted to this. But as far as a gear breakdown, we're going to start with first the lures. So, we ran primarily three baits. Um, I had three different rods set up, but uh, we started off because I know it's a very productive way to do it. We would run some kind of a bucktail. And thanks to Mike Floyd out there for you musky guys on Facebook, he showed me the way he likes to build his spinners. So I tied up some custom ones myself, and the copper silver with the black and red tail happened to be the one that the fish bit for me. Um, I also used a steel wire leader because I didn't want to run into any problems at all with those fish and their teeth. Thankfully, the hook stuck and stayed, but uh, that's basically what I started out with. I paired that actually on a 8 foot 6, 8 to 17 salmon steelhead rod. Paired up with a nice little low profile reel. This one happens to be from Fishfield and 20 pound Iser line as the main line. Um, the 8 foot 6 
gives you a little bit longer casting and was perfectly set up for the bucktail spinner. The second one that we ended up doing was I ran a glide bait. I know a lot of guys do well on glide baits, so I had a Savage Gear S Glide in the Rainbow Trout, and it actually had a couple follows as well as one try and swipe at it. So on a given day, you never know what's gonna happen, but that was what we used as far as the first glide bait. Paired that up on my old school Lamb of Glass. This one's the G1310T. It's an eight foot six. It's got enough, you know, 10 to 20 rated line. I got a Daiwa 300 with 20 pound test. It's my all around rod. I use it for salmon, steelhead, sturgeon I've done it with, you know, it does everything. Um, but we ran that one. And then I also tried a new one that came in the mail recently. And this is the Six Sense Speed Glide 100. And it has a nice little tighter wobble action. I had a couple of fish kind of look at it, never really commit to a follow, but uh, any day that you can see a giant muskie close to the boat is a good one. And we paired this one up on my 10 to 17. This one is a seven foot heavy rod. This is generally my bass rod for flipping and pitching with the dial 100 on there, but really pretty basic stuff. Had a lot of fun again, and I just cannot wait to get back because the next time I'm bringing my fly rod and we're going to have some fun with those big ones. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and look forward to seeing some more stuff coming real soon. So take care. We'll see you on the water. And fish on.